Welcome or welcome back on C-Square. On this video clip, we're going to talk about the fundamental theorem of algebra, which uh, looks very interesting. Look at here. If we have a polynomial of degree n, and this is the polynomial equation, we have exactly this number of roots, including multiple and complex roots. So in other words, if you have a linear equation, because the degree is 1, you have one solution. If you have a quadratic, you have two solutions because the degree is two, including multiple solution and complex solution. So let's see, in fact, some example. And we have this uh, number one, uh, this polynomial equation. So we're going to try to uh, see which of the possible roots are actual roots. So for, first of all, let's see the possible roots. And you see, we do this quotient P over Q. On the top, I'm going to put a factor of uh, negative 3, plus and minus 1, and plus and minus 3, and on the bottom, the factors of uh, the leading coefficient, in this case, 1, plus and minus 1. And uh, here we have, uh, what, uh, 1, 2, uh, 4 possible um, 0, one, positive 1 and negative 1, positive 3 and negative 3. And we, we can start checking, x equals 1, and we're going to have 1 cube minus 3 times 1 squared, plus 1, minus 3. This is not 0, so we can move to the other one, which is negative 1, which is not going to be, and we can move to x equals 3 also. You can check negative 1 if you want. So let's see x equals 3. That we have 3 to the third power, minus 3 times 3 squared, plus 3, minus 3. If you notice, this is equal 0, all right? Uh, very important. So this was a possible zero. Now this is an actual zero. So what am I going to do with this guy? Yeah, with this guy, I can use what is called synthetic division. If you remember, one negative three, one and negative three, right? Uh, coefficients of uh, each term of this polynomial equation, and uh, this is the actual zero. I'm gonna put three here. Drop the one. 3 times 1 is 3. Uh, if we add this guy, we get 0. 3 times 0 is 0. If we add this guy, we get uh, 1. 3 times 1 is 3. Again, we get 0, which we should expect because the uh, reminder theorem tells us uh, that this is a factor. Okay. Well, what is this guy here? This, uh, this guy we have here is going to be x squared, right? the depressed polynomial, 1 degree less, plus 0x plus 1, right? So now let's put it all together. The uh, original problem we have is x cubed minus 3x squared plus x minus 3. That will be x minus 3, right? x minus 3 because we, we do have uh, this x equals 3 here. And then we have x squared plus 1. And by the way, this guy cannot be factor of. So now if we have the factor form, we can solve the equation by making each factor equals to 0. x minus 3 equals 0. We did it that already. We get x equals 3. This is the one solution. The uh, real solution. And then we have x squared plus 1 equals 0. Like as, as I said, that cannot be factored out. x squared equals negative 1. x equals plus or minus square root of negative 1 or just i. And you see the two complex solution, imaginary solution, if you have set and y here. So yeah, degree 3, 3 solution. Okay. So you see how this fundamental theorem of algebra works. But now, some of you may notice something very interesting on this problem. This can be done by factoring. Uh, on this one, if you notice, you can factor out by grouping x squared, x minus 1, uh, x minus 3, I'm sorry, and here we factor out a 1 and x minus 3. So do not forget some other tools we you learn. Um, I think it works faster, uh, so be open mind. Pause this video clip and try number two.
Okay, if you end up with this uh, three solution x equals uh, negative one and x equals plus or minus two, you did a wonderful job, and uh, uh, you, know, you see I went directly to x equals negative one. Uh, I skipped the one, uh, and again, why? Well, how do I know that? I have a little bit more experience, so probably you need to work more than I do, and that works also by factoring. Now let's see uh, some examples. I'm going to do number three and I'm going to try number four. Uh, where really the factoring does not work, uh, like in problem one and two. So let's let's take a look on problem number three. Again, we're going to start with this uh, p over q, the rational uh, zero theorem, and then we're going to have plus and minus one, plus and minus two, plus and minus three, plus and minus. 4 plus and minus 6 and plus and minus 12. Okay, uh, these are the possible factors of 12 and uh, here plus and minus 1. Okay, and again, you realize we have a bunch of of, uh, of uh, factors. Uh, from all those, is x equals negative 1 is the one that works. Okay, and we, uh, let's check, let's show you, let's see a little bit negative 1 to the 4 power plus 4 times negative 1 to the third power plus 7 times negative 1 to the second power plus 16 times negative 1 plus 12 okay and that will be 0 okay uh, so the next step obviously is going to be the long division 1 4 7 16 and 12 and here of course we're going to put this negative 1 and drop the 1, like we did before, and negative 1 times 1 is negative 1, if we add we get 3, negative 1 times 3 is negative 3, we add we get 4, and negative 1 times 4 is negative 4, if we add we get 12, and negative 1 times 12 is negative 12, if we add we get 0. We should expect the 0, because the reminder theorem told us this, Right. Now, what do we have here? We have x cubed plus 3x squared plus 4x plus 12. So this is the depressed polynomial, which is a cubic. And again, look at here now. Uh, this is not a bad one. I can do the same thing we did before, which is not easy. It takes time. I can take a look to factoring, right? And x squared by grouping. And x plus 3 here. And here we have 4 as a common factor and x plus 3. So basically, we have pretty much the factor form here, right? x plus 3 is the common factor and x squared plus 4. So now let's put all these guys together. Uh, and number 3 becomes in the factor form x plus 1, right? Is you have that negative 1, then x plus 3, and x squared plus 4, right? So these product of these factors. And that equals 0, right? we get the solution negative 1, negative 3, and plus and minus 2y. Four solution, yeah? Because we have a degree 4. Pause this video clip and try number 4.
if you end up with this solution x equals to twice, right? We, we, we have it uh, once because uh, of the remainder theorem. Uh, the second time we have it when we factor out here uh, by grouping. So we have these two solutions and this x equals plus or minus square root of 3 because you have this this factor of square minus 3 which gives us plus or minus square root of 3. Again you see four solution yeah the degree was 4. If you enjoyed this video clip don't forget to click the like button down right and come back and see square for more math video clips. Thank you.